Hello everyone, this is Prem Kumar and in this video, I'm going to talk about five key factors that determine the success of a Pega platform upgrade. Pega as a tool, as a platform, as a product framework, whatever you call, that helps with building the BPM applications. And the main selling point is time to value. With Pega platform, when you build any BPM applications, you can build it in a low code way and you can go to market in a reduced time. If you check with the Pega platform customers, what are their main pain points? The top most answer can be the Pega platform upgrade duration. I have involved in multiple upgrade projects and most of the time, the duration of the upgrade, it takes like weeks, sprints or even months. So how do we solve this problem? What are the key factors that helps with reducing the upgrade duration? I'm going to list you five points based on my observation or based on my thinking. The first is about the rule customization. If you take all these upgrade issues, most of the thing, like at least 80% of the upgrade bugs are somewhere related to the rules which were customized on the application level. Pega always advise us to focus more on the configuration than the customization. But if you look at the real time scenario in most of the applications, we would have customized lot of out of the box features. I've also explained about this in one of the previous video about planning your upgrade. A prerequisite is to run the Pega upgrade tool. There is a tool called upgrade checker which can help you with identifying the rules that were customized that can potentially cause some upgrade issues. Pega also sees in the same direction how to reduce the rule customization. In your application, if you have done lot of customization, of course there will be some kind of upgrade issues which you need to account for. So the only solution can be like, how do you fix your customization? Can we revert back? Can we withdraw the rules and accept the out of the box rules? These are the key check marks that can help you with reducing the customization and can help you to have a smoother upgrade. Pega also do mark a lot of rules that can be extended for your application, but don't just extend or customize all the available rules. The second key factor is about the low code development. Again, this is kind of related to the first point where we talked about customization, right? Pega as a low code platform that can help you with building the application in a more low code way that can be more compliant and adhere to Pega God rights. In the recent versions, you also might have noticed that Pega invested a lot in the App Studio as well as the Constellation UI design system. If you just look at the main problem it solves, just on a high level, if you think, okay, we are using a latest front-end design system, maybe our screens render faster. There are a lot of statistics defined, but at the back end, Pega is also going to solve the main problem of having a greater upgrade duration. If you build your applications with App Studio, you'll be focusing more on the configuration, not on the customization. You'll be focusing more on building your business process, not on the UI cosmetics. At the end, you will have a standard Pega application. And definitely, if you compare the upgrade duration or upgrade bugs, the apps which are developed from App Studio or the constellation based applications will have a shorter upgrade duration than the legacy applications where we did a lot of customization. Even if you can't just use constellation design system, Make sure you use your App Studio, make sure don't do lot of customization, build it in a low code way and focus more on building the business process. The third key factor is about building your application in a more modular approach. Again, if you take any legacy applications, most of the applications will stand like a monolith applications. Multiple teams may be working on a single larger application, a single application stack. During such situation, when you plan for an upgrade, multiple teams will be involved and the business value which they can provide during that duration will be very less. Again, this adheres to the Pegas principle of building the applications in a more component way or the modular Way. The fourth key factor is about staying current or having some frequent upgrades. Definitely many are going to challenge me. How do the business accept when you want to upgrade like every year? Whenever a new version is released, if we ask the business that we are going to have some kind of upgrade, usually they will have a mindset that this is going to take multiple months. They will be not okay with that. But why I meant this as a key factor is, let me give you a comparison scenario. Let's say you want to upgrade from 8.3 to Pega Infinity 24 versus Pega Infinity 23 to Infinity 24. What will be the shortest duration? Of course, 
the risk is very less when you want to just upgrade one minor version comparing to four or five minor versions if you want to skip all those you have to go through all the release notes there can be multiple things changed in the higher versions right so you have to accommodate and it's going to be a bigger upgrade but let's say when you have a clear plan like every year you're going to upgrade one minor version what do you get with that is of course you will definitely have a reduced upgrade duration as well as you will be able to use the pega new features very quickly and i feel with this approach when you have some frequent upgrades or staying current definitely you will have a different mindset you will just think that okay a new version is released can we just upgrade very quickly and the fifth and final key factor is about your testing plan or having the right automation test scripts okay now let's say you have a big application and when you go for upgrade of course you need to have the right confidence right so you may be involved with doing a lot of intensive testing on most of the features most of the key features but what if you have some automation test scripts already defined for those key features at a nightly batch you can just run your automation test scripts and then get your main features validated against the automated test scripts and with the test pass percentage you can get your confidence so it can reduce the risk so that you can also have a shorter duration so it is strongly advisable to have the right test scripts clearly defined and don't just depend only on the manual testing have it equally defined right so you have this test matrix i don't want to go into deep but have the right automation test scripts have your unit test and then have some percentage of manual testing also this can also significantly help your upgrade duration so here i mentioned about five key factors that can potentially help the upgrade duration for any pega applications of course there can be few others which can be added to the list but these are just my own observations based on my own experience i'll see you in the next lecture